Magandang hapon, Pilipinas. Uh, tinalaga po ni Presidente Ro Rodrigo Roa Duterte si uh, Debod Menoria Sinas bilang bagong Philippine National Police Chief effective po bukas, November 10, 2020. Yusa Kraki. Uh, first question mula po kay uh, Jinky Batikados ng IBC 13. Uh, palace reaction on the winning of President-elect Joe Biden. Well, uh, na-congratulate na po ng uh, ating Presidente si uh, uh, President-elect Biden at tiwala na naman po tayo na dahil napakalapit po ng relasyon ng Pilipinas at Estados Unidos ay uh, patuloy pong uh, magiging mas mabuti pa ang ating samahan um, sa ilalim po ng pamumuno ni Presidente Duterte at ni President-elect Biden. Second question po niya, is there any plan for the President to visit the U.S. before his term ends? Wala po akong na, nalalaman. No? At syempre po, yan naman po ay uh, sangayin din sa uh, magiging imbitasyon nitong, nitong si President-elect Biden. So hayaan na po muna natin mag-settle in si uh, President-elect Biden. If in case President-elect Biden will personally ask him for a state visit and invite him to come over to the U.S., will he take the invitation? Let's cross the bridge when we get there po. Pero wala naman akong nakikitang dahilan para... Um, uh, tanggihan po yan, pero ulitin ko nga po, no, si uh, President-elect Biden is President-elect until January 20. Ang proseso po nila i-confirm pa ang kanyang pagkapanalo ng Electoral College na tinatawag. Uh, Joyce Balanjo, please. Good afternoon, Secretary Roque. Ano po yung naging uh, selection process ni Pangulong Duterte sa pagpili ng uh, PNP Chief? Ano yung qualities na hinanap niya at bakit po si uh, NCRPO Chief uh, Debold Sinas ang kanyang napili? Well, joints, uh, presidential appointments are um, really um, very executive in character. It is um, a prerogative of the president and he need not make any explanation for his appointment. No? But nonetheless, um, tinignan siyempre ni Presidente ang, uh, yung track record ng uh, kanyang appointee at uh, matagal nang sinasabi ni Presidente na talagang uh, si uh, bagong PNP chief um, Sinyas ay uh, napakalaki na, na, na itulong sa kanyang war on drugs. Ano po ang specific instructions po niya kay uh, PNP, uh, bagong PNP chief uh, Sinyas? Well, uh, siyempre po, ipagpatuloy pa rin ang war on drugs at ipagpatuloy pa rin ang uh, mga gains na nakamit natin sa uh, larangan ng uh, peace and order na pinatunayan ng survey ng Gallup Poll na number 12 tayo sa buong daigdig na pinaka-safe na lugar sang ayon na rin sa ating mga mamamayan. Sir, as early as now, may mga criticisms na po sa pagpili ni Pangulong Duterte kay General Sinas, particularly yung naging controversy on the Manyanita, yung party po uh, allegedly uh, merong uh, violations sa uh, quarantine protocols. Uh, hindi po ba ito kasama sa mga na-consider ni Pangulong Duterte when he chose uh, Sinas? As I said po, yung appointment to uh, the position of PNP chief is a presidential prerogative. Hindi po kinakailangan depensahan ng presidente ang napili niyang bagong PNP chief. It's just his prerogative. Ganun po talaga yun. Yusek Rocky, sir, just follow thank you, Joyce. Yes? Anong follow-up? Yes, sir, just a follow-up lang po sa US elections lang po, just very short. Uh, following the election results in the United States, usap-usapan po sa social media yung halalan 2022. And many people are, are urging that and are hoping na the same spirit from freedom and democracy-loving people will be shown also sa upcoming elections. And many are saying, sana marami po ang mag-register sa susunod na, para po sa susunod na election so that more votes can be counted. Any reaction to this, sir? Well, hinihikayat po natin ang lahat na po pwede na mag-rehistro, mag po kayo at pagdating po ng uh, halalan sa Mayo 2022, dapat po uh, lumabas at bumoto dahil ito po yung obligasyon natin sa ating inang bayan. Yusek Rocky, thank you Joyce. Yes, uh, Secretary, question from Laila Salaveria of Inquirer. With the impending change in the administration in the U.S., what kind of policies is Malacanang hoping for in relation to the South China Sea, defense, trade, and immigration? Well, patuloy lang naman po ang ating pulisiya sa South China Sea, sa defense at sa immigration. No? Uh, so sa tingin ko po, ang Amerika din naman ay consistent sa kanilang foreign policy. So wala rin major changes po yan. Pero syempre po, pagdating sa larangan immigration, 
um, inaasahan po natin na sana magkaroon ng uh, policy shift under a democratic uh, administration dahil napakadaming po mga Pilipino na naninirahan sa Estados Unidos at uh, bagamat uh, merong ilang sa kanila ay yung mga tinatawag nating TNT no? o mga illegal eh napakalaki naman pong papel ang ginagampan nila sa Estados Unidos at mabigyan sana sila ng pagkakataon na maging legal sa Estados Unidos. Laila Salaveria pa rin po ng Inquirer, does the President see any reason to reconsider the Visiting Forces Agreement abrogation now that there will be a new U.S. President? Wala po akong basihan para sagutan niya no? dahil ang, uh, binigay, ang naging deklarasyon ng Presidente, six months po, uh, postponement doon sa abrogation ng VFA to be extendable by another six months. So as it stands, yan pa rin po ang naging deklarasyon ng ating Presidente. Uh, thank you, Yusek. Si Trish Trada, please. Hi, good afternoon, Secretary. Sir, following na lang din po dun sa U.S. Uh, presidency ni uh, Joe Biden, sir, in which area specifically do you think or will the Biden presidency be beneficial to the country? Well, gaya ng sinabi ko po, no, sana po uh, matulungan yung mga Pilipino na naninirahan ngayon sa Estados Unidos na wala pa pong mga papel, no? Uh, dahil yan naman po yung isang major policy difference between Republican and Democratic administration. Otherwise, we expect everything to be uh, um, stable naman po, walang ma mga major na pagbabago. Mm -hmm. Sir, doon po sa usapin ng PNP chief, may we know, sir, kung sino po yung, kumbaga yung na-shortlist, sino yung mga pinagpilian ng Pangulo? Wala po akong personal knowledge kung sino yung pinagpilian. Um, mm -hmm. Pero, mm -hmm. Pero, sir, what do you think um, did the President consider ano po yung tinig na ng Pangulo na madadala ni General Sinas um, as he sits as PNP chief? Yung record po niya as an anti-drug crusader. Mm -hmm. But what about sir yung mga controversies that he figured in? Hindi po ba uh, natatakot ang palasyo kumbaga in terms of magiging compliance both sa PNP side and sa mga tao sir if they see that their leader has um, espoused or has figured in such controversies. I think it was uh, Senator Laxon who said na wala namang perfecto, no? pero dapat tignan pa rin kung ano yung naging achievement na isang tao sa kanyang panunungkulan. And I think that's what happened to General Sinyas. Mm -hmm. Sir, last question. Yung UK po entered into a strict lockdown. Of course, um, they eased restrictions earlier than us. Pero sir, do we, sa atin po ba, um, wala na po, um, hindi, na, hindi na natin tinitignan itong stricter lockdown? Well, dahil in alam case, po natin na spike in cases. Alam po natin na kinakailangan na magkaroon ng hanap buhay ang ating mga mamamayan. So, ang sinasabi nga po ng presidente, kinakailangan pag-ingatan ang mga buhay para po tayo ay uh, makapaghanap buhay at kaya namang gawin ito sa pamamagitan po ng mask, hugas at iwas. Thank you, Secretary. Salamat Thank po. you, Trish. You say Rocky again, please. From MJ uh, Blanca Flor of Daily Tribune, will the president declare Bicol, Mimaropa, and Calabarzon under state of calamity as recommended by the NDRRMC? Most likely po, pero antayin na natin yung papel mismo na manggagaling sa tanggapan ng presidente. What does the palace think of the proposal of Comelec Commissioner Guanzon to expand male voting, just like in the U.S. Daw po, to cover persons with disabilities, senior citizens, and pregnant women in the 2022 elections? She said this with, uh, will lead. This will lead to higher voter turnout. We respect that uh, recommendation coming as, uh, as it does from... Uh, a legal luminary within the COMELEC and under the Constitution, it is tasked, of course, with the supervision and conduct of elections. Pero ang hindi ko lang po sigurado kung kinakailangan pa maamindahan yung Omnibus Election Code uh, para ma-include yung male voting. Pero um, we leave that to the uh, wisdom of the COMELEC. Melo Acuna, Thank please. You, good afternoon, Secretary. I am hoping you had a good weekend. I did. Uh, Thank you very of, much. Uh, the new President of the United States, Ano po ang kinabukasan ng mute? Titin, FA, at ng EDCA and new leadership in the United States. Uh, maraming tanong ka, no? Unang-una sa VFA, ang sabi ko nga po kanina, um, nagkaroon po ng deferment ng abrogation for six months, extended for another six months. Pero yung mga ibang tratado naman, gaya ng EDCA, wala naman pong deklarasyon dyan si Presidente. So, uh, Pacta Sun Servanda, um, treaties entered into in good faith will be complied with. Opo. Mga iba po ako, may kinalaman po naman sa PhilHealth, natanggap ko mula sa isang taga-Kazon province 
Yun daw po kasing PhilHealth benefits sa dialysis hanggang December 2020. Ngayon, 90 sessions na lang ang covered ng PhilHealth, kaya nagbabayad na ng malaki sa bawat sessions, yung katulad ng nagdadialysis ng twice a week. Will the good office of the president look into this? Well, uh, ang alam ko po, no, dati na yung package na 90 dialysis package ng PhilHealth. Pero dahil nga po dun sa programa ni Senator Bongo na malasakit, no, pwede po dumami yan kasi bukod pa sa PhilHealth, tinitingnan natin yung kontribusyon na galing sa ibang ahensya ng gobyerno gaya ng PCSO, ng, uh, ng um, PAGCOR at uh, uh, yung uh, social uh, welfare fund pa ng ating presidente. So bagamat ang minimum guaranteed po sa PhilHealth is 90, a uh, free dialysis meron pa pong karagdagan yan dahil nga po sa malasakit program. Pahabol ko na rin po yung katanduanes ang pagkakaalam ko po nagpadala na yung luwa ng mga tauhan para suriin yung kalagayan at pangangailangan ng mga taga Birak. Subalit ang problema walang overhead tanks at walang water trucks na magdi-distribute ng tubig. Baka raw po may paraan tayo. Thank you, Secretary. Well, na-restore na po ang Roro service. So kung kinakailangan po nila ng ganyan, po pwede naman po magpadala galing po sa mainland Luzon, papunta ng Katanduanes. Hindi po problema ngayon yan. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Melo. Use a crack again, please. Yes, from uh, John Punzalan of ABS-CBN, yung first question po niya sa new uh, PMP chief na tanong na po ni uh, Joyce Balancho, Second question niya, DFA Secretary uh, Loxin said the Philippines would uh, vote for China's candidate to fill a seat at the International Court of Justice. What is the basis for this? The uh, proven um, uh, competence, probity, and integrity of the uh, Chinese candidate, who also happens to be one of my closest friends, no? Judge Sue. Um, Judge Sue uh, is one of the founders of the Asian Society of International Law and was also one of my predecessors as president of the Asian Society of International Law. And of course, um, the support given to the Chinese candidate is number one because of the proven tra track record of Judge Sue, who is already a, uh, a sitting ICJ judge, but also a, a further manifestation of the very close relationship between the Philippines and China. Second question po niya, it has been 11 days since you said you would ask President Duterte if he would release his all end. Any update, sir? Uh, well, the update is you can ask for it from the office of the Ombudsman. Thank you, Secretary. Okay. Punta na tayo kay Pia Ranada, please. Hello, sir. Yes, go ahead, please. Yes, sir. Sir, just on uh, the appointment of uh, PNP Chief Sinas, uh, sir, may we know why the president decided to appoint, parang he had a tradition before of appointing the next senior in line in the PNP, but this time he went with um, a younger general or uh, a general who was a third, I think, in line. So, sir, may we just know the reasoning for this? Well, as I said, no, uh, the post of uh, the PNP chief is an appointment uh, which by law is lodged on the president alone. It is a presidential prerogative and he does not have to answer any question on why he did so. So let's leave it at that. Uh, but sir, is there any um, a rationale that would... Because sir, even if he doesn't have to explain it, maybe there is no reason Sinabi ko na po. be given. Did he ever oh, speak of a reason for this? I said it. He declared it to the president. Yeah, no? Hindi man perfecto po si uh, Chief Sinas ay uh, napabilib po niya si Presidente sa kanyang dedikasyon dito sa laban sa pinagbabawal na gamot. Sir, does, the, does Malacanang think that this appointment might um, send a message to the public that uh, violations like the... Because the uh, si General Sinas also faces a complaint by within the PNP itself for his, uh, his birthday party during the quarantine um, period. So, sir his appointment might be seen by uh, some people as rewarding um, behavior that should not have been rewarded. So, sir, how does Malacanang defend this kind of perception? And how do you assure the people that uh, violators will will get their, will not, you know, will not be rewarded in such a way that could also harm the, the government's own um, uh, keeping of its rules and the laws, during, especially during the pandemic. Gaya na akin sinabi, hindi po kinakailangan depensahan ng presidente ang kanyang desisyon sa pagtatalaga kay uh, Chief Sinas. At ang sabi po ng presidente, sagot ko yung appointment ni Sinas na yan. 
Okay. And sir, lastly, um, you mentioned sir the VFA abrogation. And sir, a few days ago you said that uh, it's likely or it's possible that the VFA um, abrogation suspension would be extended for another six months. Sir, have there been any updates on this possibility? Have you spoken to the president about this? Wala po, no? I would uh, defer on this matter to the DFA now. All I can say on the part of the president is what he has already uh, said previously, that he's abrogating it, but the abrogation is suspended for six months, extendable for another six months. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.